was it was there, and that was that was the moment for me when I just said yes. And the referee has blown his whistle, and Kilkenny have won back the Liam McCarthy Cup. Kilkenny are the champions for 2011. Brian Cody has done it. His captain Brian Hogan has given the leadership on the park. It's been a wonderful team effort, and the emphasis has been on team this afternoon. It was never about anything got to do with a legacy again for me. It was nothing to do with history and nothing to do with two out of three, even though you use all those things in build-ups and everything else. You know, we weren't favoured to win it, we weren't expected to win it, and, you know, there was real concern throughout the year about whether, you know, we would be good enough or able enough to, to come back and, and, and be successful at that level again. It meant so much to everybody to, go, to come back and, and to win the final again. It meant probably more because, you know, there was uncertainty about us. Since the final whistle had went, or 13 minutes in the Art Ireland the previous year had went, I've been dreaming about maybe getting back and maybe trying to be involved and maybe playing and, and to be part of something so special. And uh, as Brian has said there, like I suppose there was so much, well, it meant so much to us this year was because I think people just thought we were gone. Like the first player I met was JJ and just hugging each other there for a few minutes and just, you know, you didn't want the, the, the moment in, like, because just stand there in the middle of Crow Park winning the all Ireland, and then, as, as you were saying there, Jackie, you just jump around and you lose yourself for a few minutes and you could probably jump all day there for the rest of the day and that's what winning an all Ireland is all about and that's what you train for is that feeling because you'd still remember it this, this winter, like Tipperary will remember beating us uh, last year. We'll remember that moment and, and I suppose that half an hour after the game forever because it was just absolutely brilliant. The loneliest place in the world to be, Crow Park, 80,000 people looking at you when the final whistle goes when you lose. All you want to do is get in off the field, you want to disappear. And I suppose that's what I felt anyway. <laughs> Losing the year before just makes it so sweeter. To win an all Ireland is brilliant, but to lose to a team like Tipperary had done in, in 09 and come back and win in 010 and like we had this year, it just makes it so much sweeter, you know. And all the hurt of the year before, you know, it just seemed like this is the focal point of all that and you've bottled it all and now you can just release it, you know, we're, we're all Ireland champions. And Kilkenny are the All Ireland champions for the 33rd time. Get your chance, half three, and that day in September, everything points towards that. If you can't perform on that day, it's a tough luck. You live with the, you live with the hurt of that then for the rest of your life, and that's the way it is. There's no second chances in our game. It's true. Then you're left to your own thoughts, and that's when it really kicks in, I think, you know, when you're away and there's silence, and all you can hear in the background is the fan at the dressing room. Yeah. You know, and that's a gentle home like, and you're going, oh, you know, I want it back, I want another chance, but you just, you just it's gone. It's gone, and it's gone. It's and that's not it. coming back. No, it's not. Sense of elation, really, you know, it's, it's, you can't describe the feeling when you win an All Ireland, you know, whether it's your first, second, or third, or whatever. It's just, it's just brilliant, and you just kind of lose control of yourself for maybe a minute or two when the satin goes. And, but I, I, I'll, I'll always remember Lark Harbour coming over to me to shake my hand after the match, and, that, and I, I, was, I was conscious of that, and I wanted to re return the favour. And, and I suppose then, just after that, it's just, you know, I suppose it was different than the first time we won an All Ireland, and the supporters weren't on the field. and. It was actually great being in the middle of the field, being able to jump around and dance with lads and hug lads for a couple of minutes and just, you know, just really just take it all in. I think this one for me was probably the sweetest and uh, just for alone of the fact of, uh, I suppose I'm 32 years of age and, and trying to recover from the second cruciate, you know, there's no point in me saying otherwise. To get back and to, to win the final was a special feel for myself and for my family and everything like that, you know, so uh, I was just delighted to be honest. This year's one is the one that I would put as the best one so far because um, as we were trying to do something very, very difficult and there was the, you know, the whole sense of the league final display against Dublin. You know, again, we wanted to win and we tried to win it and we were just blown away in that game and there was a real sense of, you know, is the team finished and a real genuine sense of concern from you know our own supporters and the supporters who would value the team massively, you know, and, and, and want the team to win so so badly, and a fear that maybe the team was our winning days were over to an extent. And this year's one, there was a real sense of wonder about the whole thing for everybody, and for it to come together so well, and for such a display, it's without a shadow of a doubt the sweetest one of all.